What makes me optimistic is that I'm convinced it is possible to stay within the one and a half degree scenario. It is neither a technology or an economic challenge, but rather a leadership challenge. And therefore it is up to us to take the necessary actions to show that it's possible. And with us, we mean that it is about private companies and it's about governance. It's obviously also about individuals and consumers, but for governments and companies, there are so many benefits of the green transformation. That decarbonization journey is something that can create jobs, can create wealth, can create entirely new societal value, and of course, ultimately save our planet. But there's also conversely an argument that if you don't take the, ac the actions needed, it'll be hugely expensive and we will fail future generations. So what government can do to speed up the green transformation is to set sufficiently ambitious and clear targets for decarbonization and green share of the power that is needed in society. But at the same time, governments must follow that with action on making space available, whether seabed or land, for renewable energy generation. And not least, to also ensure that the consenting processes of this land are sufficiently fast and predictable. And for private sector, the single most important thing to do is to commit to science-aligned uh, reduction targets. Once done, start to report very transparently and credibly so that everybody can track, including your own employees and other stakeholders, how are you progressing towards those targets. And obviously, really importantly, to start to take action. Make investments in anything from energy efficiency to buying more green power and decarbonize your value chains. Lots of things can be done, lots of things should be done. We are convinced that there is a fantastic business case behind doing it in time. And for companies, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to show leadership, create new markets, lowering risk for the future, but also ultimately differentiating yourselves and ensure that the financial value of doing new things in a much better way are harvested. We at Ørsted continue to share not only our views, but also our experiences in the transformation we have gone through. Because in the realm of decarbonization, there are no competitors, but only partners.